Good evening and thanks for joining us. March is just four days away. That's the good news. The bad news? Winter is refusing to budge. Call it polar vortex part three. That dreaded vortex is creeping south again. This is it in white. Much of Canada is already engulfed and it's still moving. Parts of the United States are bracing for record low temperatures and they are blaming Canada. Loren McNabb is in Winnipeg tonight, a city that has endured one of the most brutal winters in decades. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, which is a good thing, because when it comes to describing this winter, Winnipeggers have almost run out of ways. I'm tired of it at this point, really. I'm so fed up with it already, you know? Stuck in an endless cycle of cold, literally. This semi-truck frozen in its tracks after a water main break turned a main city drag into an icy mess in minutes. Well, it's definitely been one of the coldest winters I've ever remember being in, so... At his age, it is the coldest, the worst since 1978. Between December and March, Winnipeg typically sees 40 days with wind chill values of minus 30 or colder. This winter, 71 days have fallen below minus 30 with the wind, 29 days below minus 40 almost triple the norm. Really what has been very unusual this year is how persistent it has been. We've had very few breaks from that uh, over the course of the winter season. You use the word persistent, I use mean. It's been mean. It has been mean for a lot of people. From Alberta to the Maritimes, almost all of Canada will see temperatures below normal this week. All thanks to the return of this. It, uh, well, it's worn out its welcome. The polar vortex, perhaps one of the most hated terms in North America. When I hear the forecast, I want to scream. The cold near Pittsburgh, jamming the Algany River with ice boulders so big, they almost devoured this truck. While in Indiana, there have been so many snow days this winter, one school district will be extending classes by minutes each day to make up for lost time. If we don't have enough of a problem with Canada, Here's where this starts off. This is a conspiracy, ladies and gentlemen. First the hockey, now the polar, polar vortex. He's blaming Canada. One Winnipegger, the Olympics, writing, You all tweeted, we are winter so much, nature has listened. With no warm-up in sight for days. Laura McNabb, Global News, Winnipeg.